speed. And then last up, now just put down the air. Power. Seven. Oh, the big right hand from Naoya Inouye. A ferocious knack for smelling blood in the water. That destructive, decisive power does it again. The monster. Naoya Inouye is the most dangerous man in all of boxing. With superb ring generalship, he is always in command and on the hunt for both KOs and accolades. He is a four division champion and has not stopped for breath since his career began, constantly moving up in weight and hunting down each new division's champions. But after his most recent win over Marlon Tapalas, the now two time undisputed champion has stated he will stick around at Super Bantamweight and defend his crown three times in 2024. This will be the first time since 2021 that Inouye will be defending a title without trying to add another. The Hunter has become the Hunted. But who could possibly take down a man that has shown no weaknesses? Oh! Oh! Oh my! That was devastating! 27-0 with 20 knockouts, and now a three-division champion. Junto Nakatani holds distinct knockout power. He has a strong lead hand and standing at 5'7", usually holds a reach advantage over his opponents. He uses his right hand as a rangefinder before launching his nuclear left. Giving up size and championship experience to Inoue, Nakatani would have to be perfect that night, using his power early to gain Inoue's respect, something nobody has done before. Now there's the issue of weight. Inoue is at 122 and already books to face Luis Neri in a defense, but living in the hypothetical land that we always do during a must-see matchup, let's say he gets past Neri. From his own camp, he has stated he will defend his undisputed status three times. Neri would make one. Looking around the rest of the division, who's left? Maybe a bout with Mirjan Akhmatilaev, but that's only two. Who is lucky number three? Nakatani has moved up in weight many times already, winning a belt in three divisions, and standing at 5'7", he could benefit from adding more weight to his frame. While only having one fight at 118, his resume shows his power translates over different divisions. Hey, sorry for the interruption, but since you've made it this far, punch the subscribe button. Just hit it, just like this, bang. Do it, you can do it. Okay, thank you. In a way, has everything to lose. He is the one at the top of the mountain, with nowhere to go but downward. Nakatani would be putting his belt on ice and taking on a challenge that no one has accomplished before him, meaning that if Nakatani were to come up short, his own stock would not drop. Playing with house money, we could see a side of Nakatani we haven't before, and to beat Inoue, it would take the performance of a lifetime. Inoue is one of, if not the best fighter in the world. But Nakatani would hold the two inch advantage in height and could hold the power strong enough to keep Inoue at bay. This all Japanese complex would be a massive event for the entire country. With more than the four belts at 122 on the line, the title of best boxer from Japan would be given to the winner. Inoue versus Nakatani. The current school versus the new school. Power versus power, speed versus speed, it is must see.